Climate change is affecting communities around the world, but perhaps none more so than those living on the coast. Rising sea levels, flooding, and erosion threaten their homes and way of life. Today, we're going to explore the impact of climate change on coastal communities and what we can do to help. From the Maldives to Miami, coastal communities are facing a crisis. Rising sea levels, caused by climate change, are threatening homes, businesses, and entire communities. Also in places like New York City and Venice, flooding is becoming more frequent and more severe. Storm surges and tidal waves are causing widespread damage to homes, businesses, and infrastructure. In some areas, entire neighborhoods are being swallowed up by the sea. In others, coastal erosion is washing away beaches and causing buildings to collapse. These impacts are not just a threat for the future, they are happening right now. According to the Union of Concerned Scientists, sea levels have risen by more than 8 inches since the 1800s, and the rate of sea level rise is accelerating. If we don't act quickly, the consequences for coastal communities could be devastating. The impact of climate change on coastal communities goes far beyond damage to homes and infrastructure. It's also affecting people's lives and livelihoods. In places like Bangladesh, Fishing communities are finding it harder to make a living as fish populations decline. In other areas, such as the Nile Delta in Egypt, saltwater intrusion is making it difficult to grow crops. And as flooding becomes more frequent and more severe, people are losing their homes and being forced to migrate to other areas. This is not just a problem for people living on the coast. It's a global issue that affects us all. But there is hope we can take action to mitigate the impact of climate change on coastal communities and help them adapt to changing conditions. One of the most important things we can do is to reduce our carbon emissions. By switching to renewable energy sources like solar power, we can help slow the rate of sea level rise and give coastal communities more time to adapt. We can also build coastal defenses, such as sea walls, dikes, and mangrove forests to protect homes and businesses from flooding and erosion. And we can support sustainable fishing practices and agricultural techniques that will help coastal communities adapt to changing conditions and build resilience for the future. But we can't do it alone. We need everyone to take action to reduce their carbon footprint and support the transition to a more sustainable future. Whether it's biking to work, installing solar panels, or composting, every action we take can make a difference. And together, we can help coastal communities around the world adapt to the impact of climate change. But there are also controversial approaches to addressing the impact of climate change on coastal communities. Geoengineering, for example, involves manipulating the environment on a large scale to counteract the effects of climate change. While some scientists argue that this is necessary to avoid catastrophic climate change, others warn that geoengineering could have unintended consequences and cause more harm than good. There are also debates about whether to relocate coastal communities that are most at risk from sea level rise and flooding. While this may seem like a practical solution, it's a controversial topic that raises questions about social justice and the right to live in one's ancestral home. Ultimately, the impact of climate change on coastal communities will depend on the actions we take now and in the future. We must act quickly and decisively to reduce our carbon emissions, build resilience, and support sustainable development in coastal areas. This includes investing in sustainable coastal development projects that consider the needs of both people and the environment. We also need to work together as a global community to address the root causes of climate change and support those who are most affected by it. So what can we do? There are many actions we can take as individuals, communities, and nations to address the impact of climate change on coastal communities. We can reduce our carbon footprint by using renewable energy sources, driving less, and eating less meat. We can support sustainable development projects that benefit coastal communities and protect the environment. We can also advocate for policies and programs that address the impact of climate change on coastal communities, such as coastal defenses and support for those who are most affected. 
Together, we can make a difference and help protect the lives and livelihoods of coastal communities around the world. The impact of climate change on coastal communities is a real and urgent threat that requires action from all of us. By working together, we can make a difference and help ensure a sustainable future for ourselves and future generations. The time to act is now. That's it for today's video. But don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to receive more updates on current affairs on sustainable development. I hope you feel motivated to take action and make a difference. Remember, the choices we make today will determine the kind of world we leave for future generations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.